I brought you tea, you can drink tea and then you can hop on the bed and do a little reiki. Oh, okay. Thank you, tea, lovely, thank you. I will get you some music start to start. Okay. Wow. Oh. Mm, that's cool. It's like you're in a different world. It changes your perception. This is an interesting CD. I like it. It's from uh, Ocean of Dreams, Ocean CD about ocean. There is a spirit nearby, but it's not an alien. Mm. Unless they have the, the reason, you know, the compelling reason to come in, I wouldn't invite them. I would not invite them. Okay. I can tell it's a spirit because of the, how it moves. I had enough spirits already, it's, uh, every time it's a stress. Mm. Usually confused and um, it's a stressful dream for my family too. Okay. You can ask if that spirit is related to any of us, me, Oksana, or you. Or if it is John Lennon, he's always welcome. It is John Lennon. Oh, yes! I'll turn off the music. Ah, John Lennon is always welcome. It is John Lennon. All right, of course. Then uh, it makes a difference. I was just wondering. I put some music in his head and he's not used it yet. Hey John, thanks for coming through. Um, he's not used it. I will ask him to use it. Yes, he is a good piano player. I'm a... I just was wondering why he hasn't used it yet. Well, Jim still has some blockages and uh, he's not into music these days, he's into Reiki. It's another form of music, but it's not the music music. I see. Well, it would... It's difficult, but he, he will benefit from it. Uh-huh. When, when did you put it? Can you tell? Months ago. Months ago, yeah. I don't think Jim played piano since then, ever. Months ago. Uh huh. I can't seem to be myself here. But it is good talking to you. Ah, oh, good talking to you. Thank you for coming. We love you. Shared the story that you visited in the past on our side, and people were thrilled. Can you tell me about the song because the because song because because the sky is blue. I I'm uh, I'm within the song. I'm with this song for last few weeks. It kind of is a major melody of my life. Last Oops. few weeks. 
I wrote it when I was feeling blue. Yeah. And I wrote it when things were simple. Yes. And I like that because whenever I wrote it, then it became something very different. It became very spiritual for me as well. Uh-huh. And the roundness of the earth is very significant. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yes. The circle is unending. You can go round and round and round and round. That's simple. Was there extraterrestrial influence there? Any spiritual knowledge we should put there? Not, the, not of my knowledge, but you never know. You never know. Not good. And the other one, uh, I want you. you. She is so heavy. Yes. Was there any any secret in that song? I mean, it's it's magic. Yes, it's about Yoko's depression. Oh, she was depressed. We don't know. Mm -hmm. She's so heavy. So it was her pregnancy or depression or both? It was many things. She's heavy in thought. She is. She's heavy in thought. She's heavy in spirit. She's heavy in just in, in density in her whole portrayal. It's dense. Yeah. She's become black hole, but then again she's become heavy. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Yeah, it, it makes perfect sense. Mm. But yet, it's something that you want. You can't stay away from it. It's like a black hole. You get sucked in. Yeah, I felt that to my, uh, my wife. I mean, that was a symbol of my relation to my wife, and she wasn't my wife yet. Ah. You dog. What? You're such a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's good. It is about Yoko, yes. So you wanted her? I wanted her, but she was so heavy. It, she made me feel like stupid sometimes. Do you know what I mean? She, she's so yes, simple. Yes, yes, yes. She's so simple and accurate. Yes, I understand that. And so I felt simple. I felt like the dummy. And yet she's inspiring and I am considered the genius. But it's, I consider her the genius. I understand that, yeah. My wife mm -hmm. is very inspiring for me. I call her muse. Yes, that's right. So... I seem to have lost my Cockney accent. Uh, that's all right. I, I believe you anyway. <laughs> Thank you. So, so uh, extraterrestrials, were they a big part of your life back then? They were a part of my life that I wasn't aware of. Ah. But they were there, yes. And now I realize where they were and when they were. And they're with Paul and they were with George and they were with Ringo as well. Can you see now astrology of your four? Can you see the, the harmony of their relationship? Yes, better? it was brought together quite... It, it was a connection like no other. Yes. Yes. I put your birthday on a circle, uh, your four birthdays, and three of them make a perfect triangle, and the fourth one sort of shifts a little bit away, making it more complicated. Ah. Don't worry about that. It's all. But I, what I do worry about is Jim is not using the talent of the music. And that is one of his talents, and he needs to use it. Uh, but he's not using it. Can we do it. a channeling session where you come and play using Jim's hands? Would it be something of interest? That would be difficult, but it's perhaps possible. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I could get through to his hands, but I could bring, make his eyes and mind see what I'm seeing. Oh, what are you seeing then? What are you looking at? I was looking at the sea. We were able to just visualize our music. Oh, visualize the music? Yes. Like their 
piano keys or the notes or something? The else? notes, yes. I can see them in the air. I can see them everywhere. But I can actually feel the music before it comes out. So. For me, you were two geniuses and two people of support team. Yes. And the support team was as important as two geniuses. Oh, yes. They were gluing you together. George was quite bright as well. And George had some genius moments. I see, I understand. His, his concepts bordered on genius. While my guitar gently weeps is a brilliant, brilliant song. I have a friend, I've had a friend who was very cool, you know, he impersonated George. His nickname was George and he kind of followed his image. So I, I, from, from childhood I, I, I'm related to, to, to him. Yes. My thinking was, so yes. if Paul is a musician, uh, for me you were like more like thinker than, than a musician. Yes, I was the more spiritual. Paul is the musical genius. But very hard to work with at times. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. he was so set on the sound that he wanted. So set on all the things that he decided. It was hard to change his mind. Yeah, and I was so... And I like the way you were alternative. You weren't pushed by consensus. You weren't... Yes. It, uh, I didn't care what anyone said. Yeah. I didn't care. It didn't matter. I realized after a while that to be who I am is the only thing that mattered. If I wanted to do that, then it was mattered. If I didn't want to do it, it didn't matter. The problem with that is no one understood me after that. I was too far in my spiritual head to relate to people in some ways. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. So Ono became my spiritual guide. And the only way I could relate to people was to party. Uh -huh, I understand. And partying with Harry was the ultimate. Harry Nielsen type. We had the parties. We went crazy. Uh -huh. We went absolutely crazy. Uh, you mutated in your life. You transformed radically from one stage to another. Did you feel a new soul coming into you? Oh no, I just was... I just let it go, that's all. I just let everything go. And then I knew the children had an effect on me. Uh -huh. Good and bad. You love New York. The Julie and... Yes, go ahead. Julie and I... And Julian and I couldn't see eye to eye on anything, probably. Uh -huh. But he had my music in him. Uh -huh. But sadly, we were not close. Does, not as close as I would like to have been. Does Yoko speak to you now? Yes, of course. <laughs> Oh, nothing keeps Yoko away. <laughs> so she can you can speak through words. She's well telepathic. She's more telepathic than she knows that she is, but she's more of a meditator, and that's how we communicate. Wow. How is? How do the spirits live? Do you have new life there, or is it still kind of being in the, more like in the past life, in the past of your 
Actually, this life. Actually, I'm preparing for a new life. So ah. Perhaps I do not even sound like John Lennon anymore. I do not feel like the old John Lennon anymore. It will be a totally different experience this time. Oh. Nice. So you're already kind of mutating again and transforming again. Yes. Did you choose it or are you still in the choice? It has been... I've been given some choices. Uh-huh. And I have decided. Oh, you decided? Yes. With would, the help of others. Would it be on Earth? Yes. This time we'll be back on Earth. Wow. I, th I heard that a person, I mean, a soul, is given only one great life and all others would be like balancing this great life. Yes, that's probably true. Probably, S probably. So you possibly nobody would even notice, like you wouldn't be as famous as... Uh, but I'll still be me. Of course. But I'll not be as person of notoriety. No one could match that person that I was. It was so far higher than most famous people. Oh, uh, maybe this do will match you. Or Lakesh. Perhaps. <laughs> or to her. But I got to go. Thank you very much for your visit. It was fun to talk to you. I'm happy to speak to you. I know who you are. Thank you. Namaste. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome, Jim. John Lennon gave you music and you didn't play it. I know. Go to I, the piano play now. I... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can't do that right now. <laughs> yeah. In two minutes? Uh, yes, you're right, he did. I remember. It was a long time ago. It was a while ago. And that's why he came back, isn't it? Mm. He wants me to play it. All right. Go do that. Maybe you need to meditate by the piano and then play. <laughs>